Hello guys, how are you guys today on YouTube? Well, I got a bit of project I'm working on. It's called storage uh, in my closet in my room. Um, the problem is I have so many tools. I don't really have a place to put them. But I want to show you guys the project I'm working on. I have a uh, steel, a very thin steel shelf. But I mean, this thing is wobbly as snickles. I got news for you. Oh, hey. But let's go ahead and turn you guys around and show you what the project I am working on. But here is the project I'm working on. There's the boards. Oh, you've been cut. Um, there's a couple boards, uh, some weights. There's the peg boards. There's my jigsaw. Uh, screwdriver, some screws. A sharpie. A towel. Or, you know, sweat myself off because it's pretty hot outside. I got a wall over there, and there's the own uh, uh, pegboard uh, stuff over here as well. And it's a bit of a pegboard mess on the ground, though. But yeah, I had to use a bit of a bit of a weight to hold the, the pegboard on this plastic table, picnic table, for it doesn't wobble too much. But I caught. Got it all the right length, and it's it's pretty good. It's not straight cut, you know. It's a lot um, crooked, but hey, it's good enough for government work, guys. Oh, here was that steel shelf house. It's a four shelf steel shelf unit. It's a pretty nice looking shelf. Um, farm is with it, guys. I, uh, I can show you. It looks pretty strong, but it is flimsy. It's very flimsy, guys. I can actually. It. It's that thin Chinese, probably Chinese steel. But here's the Allen pegboard I took off from the wall down the stove. Um, I used to put it on her to give it more stability. But like I said, she is flimsy. But it's still a good pegboard. It's still a good uh, shelf unit. It's not the best little shelf unit. But like I said, it's okay for what I need it for. For storing my tools and stuff like that. I don't, like I said, don't really have a place to store my tools. But there's, uh, there she is. I just cut over the jigsaw. Just a standard uh, black and duckled uh, saw. Just gave her a cat. It's a little squeaky. Gonna have to make it oil or some, something now. But that's what I use to cuddle with the uh, wooden uh, blade. But this was um, down stove on a wall. This is where the outlet went. This is where the the outlet hole was at right here. Well, it's not a bad piece of bag port. I could probably cut this and use it for something else, but I use it oh I might keep a shirt away. Here's the own long piece. Same stuff, it's the same pegboard, but it's been cut down to size to for I can fit it on that shelf over there. And by the way, I didn't uh, measure it that good, guys. I only eyeballed it <coughs> and cut it. And that's all I did. And yes, and the table's a bit messy. But there's a couple pieces of shelving. I used a, uh, old, a very old wall. Cut a couple of pieces of um, board hill to uh, help when I I put on the wood on top like this to help to weight it down <coughs> for I can cuddle and stuff but it's not that bad when you cuddle but the problem is when you don't got no weight on it then it starts to uh, vibrate the table then it um, doesn't really cut that even, but you know what they always say, sometimes good enough can be only good enough for government work, but I say not in my mind though, guys. But, it's a standard straight wall I used. Um, I can get an attachment for this Dewey thing, Dickshaw Dewey. I can get a, a level uh, straight Dewey and cut it down. And what do I mean about this as a pegboard? I mean, it uses pegs, or you can put buy those peg things and put them in. 
and stuff. Screwdriver, couple of screws. This is a Sharpie. There's a sweat towel there. And see what I mean? These are what this is. It's a pegboard. All you do, it comes in small, big size pegs. It's not a full sheet. doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. But again, I'm not really worried about it. But on this side, it has these uh, brackets on it, but the brackets really don't hold. It's which was brackets on the bottom of these, but they're gone. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these brackets, or actual these brackets, and put them on this side of this shelf. Let's see if I can get it a little bit stable. But like I said. But, you know, she is completely flimsy and probably a Chinese made shelf, but you know what? It's good to store my tools on it, but I don't really have a spot right now to put my tools. But if I did, I would have a place to put them. But yeah, this is the table I cut the, uh, the uh, pegboard on, by the way. As long as you don't cut the table, you should be okay. But uh, you know, it's a pretty good shelf. Farm is, like I said, it's very, very flimsy. It's very cheap metal. Cheap to buy, you know, cheap to bend as well. But I know it's a little bit dirty, but I'm not really worried about it. It's going to be dirty or not. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, you know. It's going to go in my room and my closet, you know, <coughs> for storage. Pretty good shelf. Can I have this buy myself a tool, tool thing, tool chest to put all these tools in? Well, yeah, I could if I really wanted to. I save up a lot of money for one. But this is good enough for me. And it's pretty wobbly. See, I bend it this way. See how, see how this bends? It just, it just twists so much. It actually need a freaking wall to have this thing just staying nice and solid but I don't know if she's going to keep moving like that or what after I put this piece on but if I can uh, get that arm piece big board I put the arm piece on this side then I think she'll be a solid um, piece but again I don't know I don't know how all that will like by the way I'm not going to cut this the hangover on this side I want all the holes that possible I can use but again this, this does have extra holes for you can put screws in, but it's solid enough with with us with the eight screws in all on this side. <coughs> Doesn't flop around too much on this side, but it's like I said, pretty fl pretty flimsy. Uh, it's a pretty cheap metal. But yeah, this is just a project, an arm project again, guys. Just working on and. Oh, you measure that and cut it. And I got a bit of a mess to clean up, but, you know, hey, that's what happens when you work on projects. A couple more of those pieces of those pegboards again. This was down, uh, down stove in the garage, this pegboard. But we had to replace a, um, a spigot. That's why I had to take it off. But like I said, I wasn't going to put it back up because... Okay, so we had that same problem again. We we'll had to, uh, you know, call call somebody and fix that uh, spigot. But you know, this is all what I've been working on, guys, for a couple of days now. Um, I just took it out of my closet, measured it, kind of eyeballed it to see if the the holes all line up and stuff. You gotta make sure the holes line up and the uh, pegs. If you don't have them line up, they're not gonna work. But it's a pretty good project. And there's uh, just the power. Just using a standard 110, 120 out whatever there with a 100 foot stanchion cord to uh, cut and trim the pegboard. And by the way, yes, I'm not a straight cuddle because it vibrated a little bit too, too much. Because I spike, because this blade. When it goes up and down, it vibrates a lot. It doesn't cut like a circle 
uh, thick soil, like a, a soaker soil will. But alright guys, I hope you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment, and please share this video with your own uh, YouTubers out there that wants to figure out uh, where to put tools or bake a tool shelf or something like that, guys. Alright, bye guys, see you in the next vlog, peace, later.